Hey everyone, Fenimore Craig directors are fresh out of a meeting where we approved the combination with Dowling Aaron. And that's on the heels of Dowling Aaron shareholders approving the same deal. So that means we're official. We're joining forces, we're playing to our strengths, we're better serving clients. And if you ask me, I think we might just make a few waves in the legal industry. So let's talk about what this means and where we're going, starting now. Overnight, we'll be transformed into one of the country's leading agribusiness, water, and trust and estate firms. And with a deep bench of exceptionally talented litigators and transactional lawyers, we'll be able to handle all our clients' needs, from Fortune 100 to family-owned. But while some things change, some things remain the same. At the top of the list is preserving the support of collaborative cultures that define Fenimore Craig and Dowling Aaron. We're all lucky to work at firms with people we like, doing work that has meaning, and that ain't changing. So what's next? Step one, internal communications. Over the coming weeks, we're gonna host a series of town hall style Zoom events for all the employees at both Fenimore Craig and Dowling Aaron. That's directors and shareholders, associates and of counsel, paralegals and staff members. We have a lot of people who've given a lot of years of great service to both our firms, and we owe it to them to tell them why we're excited about this, what this means for them, and to fully answer all their questions. Step two, systems integration. Now I know if you're at Dowling, this is probably part of the deal that sounds a little bit scary. I get it. But I want to assure you that the teams working on this at both firms are committed to making the transition as smooth as possible for you. And I'm also willing to bet that at the end of this process, you're going to find that you have systems that allow you to be more productive, to collaborate better with each other, to connect better with your clients, all while working more effortlessly wherever you are, whether that's in the office or at home. Step three, teamwork and business development. At the core, law firms are people-driven businesses. If we're not getting to know one another, if we're not building relationships, if we're not talking, we will not succeed. But if you haven't noticed, we're living through a pandemic, so that's gonna make all this a little bit harder. But it doesn't mean it's gonna be impossible. We have a pretty creative and resourceful crew, and if you want any proof of that, Look no further than the very existence of this deal. The fact that we got this done in the era of Corona says a lot about what we can do and what we're capable of. And we're going to take those same creative and resourceful thoughts and apply it to this relationship building. Well, what does that look like in practice? If these were normal times, we'd have a firm retreat, we'd get everyone together, we'd shake hands, we'd mix, we'd mingle, we'd have some drinks and this process would be a lot easier. Well, that's not gonna happen today. I certainly hope that happens sometime in the near future. So what do we do until then? Well, if you haven't had a Zoom happy hour yet, you better get ready, because you're probably gonna have one soon. We also wanna get our practice groups together and other teams together, not only to forge bonds, that's important, but also to think about those critical business development opportunities that made the combination of our two firms so unique and so compelling. Step four, letting our clients in the world know about the deal. Now, I don't wanna say that lawyers are bad at keeping secrets, but well, we all know lawyers. So word's gonna get out fast and we need to make sure we've got our arms around the messaging, we're out in front of the messaging so our clients understand the value this deal brings to them and how it helps their businesses. Now, in the process of that, I don't mind, and I would suspect you probably don't mind either, if we send a little message to our competitors, and that's we're here, so they better look out. To accomplish these goals, we've got the best marketing team in the business from Fenimore, from Dowling, working on this, and you're gonna see a comprehensive set of materials ranging from press releases to social media blasts to email templates that will allow you to communicate directly with your clients. We think this is gonna make a big splash in the industry. We think it's gonna be positively received and we're doing everything we can so we do it the right way. Well, if it sounds like it's gonna be a busy second half of the year, that's because 
it's going to be a busy second half of the year. But it's also going to be a time of tremendous opportunity. I'm confident that the path we're on is going to take us to great places together. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Reach out to any member of the Dowling or Fenimore leadership teams. Keep an eye out in your inboxes for additional communications coming your way. And to wrap, I'd say enough talk about where we're going. Let's go do it. Let's go build something big.